Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam here, aka see the guy, and I'm going to talk about the time I met Good Hansen, aka Leatherface from Texas Chains, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I've got mixed reviews about this one. Uh, this is going to be like a review slash rant about when I met Good Hansen. I mean, the um, the review side of things is that it was an honour meeting Good Hansen. He is a legend. He's no longer with us. He's now passed away. God bless his soul. He lost his soul to the big C. And may he rest in peace. Okay, now, uh, he's definitely going to be remembered from some of the all-time greats, you know, he's up there with Freddy Krueger, and of course, Mark Myers, Jason Voorhees, Chucky, you know, he's the original Leatherface, you know, from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, the movie that scared the nations for many years, you know what I mean, so, Leatherface has become one top horror icon, you know, and it's all thanks to the guy that played him, Gunnar mm-hmm. Hansen, so meeting him is an honour. You know, he was advertised to appear at the Birmingham NEC Arena, I remember Billy, some years ago. And when he was advertised, I was really excited about meeting Gunnar Hansen. You know, I mean, I'm so glad that um, I've got his autograph as part of my collection, you know. And it's now much more of a bigger deal now that he's passed away, you know, because it's going to be a rare thing, you know. So, it's really sad that we've lost Gunnar Hansen. I mean, no doubt he was a nice guy, you know. And um, it's been explained by many other actors who knew him that he was a... Um, a nice soul, basically. Now, when I met Gunnar Hansen, um, the first thing I noticed about him was, don't get me wrong, he was very approachable, (coughs) but he wasn't one of the um, likes of, like, Robert Eglund or Brad Dour, if you know, where he was really talkative and he wanted to ask questions to the fans or anything like that. He was more of the quiet ones. You know, I don't know if that was just part of his personality. I'm not saying he was a rude guy. But usually, when you meet somebody, you like to have a conversation with them. You know, you like to know more about them. You like to ask questions about the movies. And you expect a good memory, basically. I mean, I've, I've got that when I met Robert Eglund. I've got that when I met Brad Dourif. Because people like Robert Eglund and Brad Dourif, they, uh, they always have a story to tell. You know, you know, when you gave them a picture for them to sign, you know, they'd talk about the picture about what time it was when the photograph was, sh- was, was shot and or that kind of thing. Just like Robert Eglin, he's always got like a story to tell about a particular situation, a particular movie shot. But with, with, um, excuse me, I've got a cold. (coughs) Please excuse me. Cold weather because of shit weather. (laughs) Um, We've got a Hanson. It was a different thing. I mean, he was one of the quiet ones. I mean, he wasn't like Robert Eglin where he had a story to tell or he was very talkative. I'm not saying the the guy was rude or anything like that, but... I kind of expected him to, you know, be more talkative. You know, I wanted him to, uh, you know, say something, basically. I mean, he basically, I ripped my name on a piece of paper. He personalised the autograph, which I'm grateful for. He put to Adam, you're next from Gunnar Hansen, a.k.a. Leatherface. And then he gave it to me. And then when I said thank you, he just went like that, nodded his head. And I says to him, I says, I thought you were fantastic in the film. And he just went like that. So he he wasn't talkative. Gordon Hansen wasn't talkative, you know, and that's probably part of his personality. I mean, I don't know if he was intending to be rude. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't or anything like that, but uh, I don't know if he was tired or he was one of them types of people who got sick and tired of hearing fans telling him what a legend he was or he was hearing the same thing from every fan every once in a while saying that he was looked up to, idolised and... I don't know if he was one of them types. I mean, one thing that I was upset about is when I asked him for a photograph, I said, can I have a photograph took with you? He just shook his head. You know, and I don't know, you know, if that's, again, him being rude or he, that's just the rules. But as you know, I managed to get a photograph for um, Top Gunner Hansen approaching him as you saw at the start of this review. That was my friend in the queue behind me. He quickly took a quick snapshot because photographs weren't allowed. I'm sure Gunnar Hansen doesn't make the rules about photographs, but... When I've met other actors, usually you have to pay for an autograph or maybe they give you a free selfie. But um, we've got a Hanson. I couldn't even pay for a selfie. You know, he just wouldn't let me have one took with him. I was just going to have one and he just went like that. He just shook his head. So that was kind of disappointing, you know. The autograph for a personalised autograph was about £40, you know. So it was pretty pricey, you know, compared to some of the other actors that I've met. I mean, meeting Robert Eglin or Brad Dourif was only like about 15, 20 pounds, you know, where Gunnar Hansen was like double the price, you know. But this is not me coming on here trying to insult Gunnar Hansen. This is not me on here trying to say he was disrespectful, being a prick, 
you know, I'm so sad that the guy's no longer with us, and uh, this is not me here trying to insult him or anything like that, I'm just sharing my personal experience, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm overwhelmed that I've got his autograph as part of the collection, I, I love it so much, I've got it um, framed on a wall downstairs with all my other memorabilia, you know, so I'm happy of that much at least, and meeting Gunnar Hansen alone was, was great, but... Like I say, I just wish he was a bit more talkative and I wish he wasn't a bit funny, you know, with the photograph side of things, you know. I don't know why actors are so touchy about the fact they want that photograph from the fans. I mean, if I was meeting my fans, I'd be over the moon and I'd gladly take photographs from my fans and I wouldn't even charge them, you know. And the fact that I'm a TV star anyway and I'm used to having cameras being recorded and shot at me, you know, I mean... What's a big deal of a selfie took with somebody else's photo with camera, you know what I mean? So, <coughs> so I don't understand what the big deal is, but I'm sure he doesn't make the rules. I, can, I understand that. But, again, not me being disrespectful or pushy or anything. I just kind of wish I got a better response out of Gunnar Hansen. That's all I'm going to say, you know. But may he rest in peace, and I'll forever love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's one of my all-time favourite horror movies. And like I say, I'm glad I've got his autographs pop collection. So thanks for watching this, everyone. If you've got anything you want to share or anything you want to comment, please leave them below. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.